The light chain is working perfectly, but the speeds chain was disconnected from the inside. We are going to remove the base and remove the electrical connector. This is the speed switch that governs the fan. This one here. On the orange wire connected to number one, we put a mark. At number two, the purple one, we put two marks. On the yellow number three, three marks. And the black live wire in L. Here we have the new one. This is the L, which is the black one. The orange connected to the number one. The purple connected to the number two. And the yellow one connected to the number three. We pass the chain through here. And we put the nut that holds the switch. We join the electrical connectors. And we attach the base to the fan. We turn off the light, first speed, second, third. I like. Very good to all the friends of La Consulta Electrica. Today we are going to be repairing the blue fan that is there, which is similar to this. As you can see, it has a chain that turns the light on and off, and it has another chain that is for the three fan speeds. First speed. We pull again, second speed. We pull again, third speed. And we pull again and it turns off. It stops. The problem we have here is that the light chain is working perfectly. But as you see here, this chain came loose from inside. And we don't know if the chain switch is broken. This is a four position switch. Off, one, two, and three speeds. So let's uninstall to see what we find inside. We must remove one screw. Two and three screws with another one that we have behind. But first, let's turn off the power. Be careful to avoid any accidents. Now we are going to remove the three screws. Now, as you see here, here we have a connection, this white plug which is the electrical connection between the motor part and the base is down here. We disconnect the plug. Because the switches are located here on this base. Friends, remember to subscribe to Lay Consult Electrica for more content. Well, as we can see here. This is the four position switch. This one we have here. And this one down here, this one, is this one here that turns the light on and off. So we're going to take this one out. Let's see. How can we open it? To reconnect the chain. That must go through here. Otherwise, we replace it with another one that does the same function, like this one here. Maybe you see it has the one, the two, the three and the L, the line that enters here. No, no bueno, no good. As we see, it is burned and sealed, and it would be better to replace it with this other one. Now we must mark where each cable is installed. Here we see that the orange has come out from the number one. Then we put a mark on the orange wire. At number two, which is this one, the purple one, we are going to put two marks on it. At number three, which is this yellow wire, we are going to mark it three times and the black one that we have left here. We know that it is installed in L, the live wire. Let's analyze the old switch. So you can see how it worked before. Here this piece was on this spring. And the chain should go here. The chain entered here, like that. And here we see a little star. This was here. The chain came out here. This little star. Turning this other one, you see that it has the same shape. 
and here when pulling the chain, it was changing position. Now we are going to install the new switch. Here in the L, we connect the line or live wire, then one, two, and three. So the live wire is the black one. We insert it through this slit here, and there he remains connected in L. Now we are going to connect the orange with a single mark on the number one. The same operation and is installed at number one. The purple wire with two marks on the number two. And the yellow wire with three marks, we connect to number three. This old switch was placed here in front of the hole and screwed on. But the new one we are installing is different. We are not going to use this system. In the new one, we simply unscrew this nut because it goes on the outside. We pass the chain through the hole. Then we pass the chain through the nut. And we screw the nut so that it is fixed to the base. Now we will install the base to the fan. Let's see. Here we have a guide on this connector. And we have another guide here in this. We match the guides and connect. And we fix the base with its three screws. Now to extend the chain, we need a connector like this. And we join it in this way. We don't extend the light chain because we use the ceiling light here. We have already turned on the power and these fans are connected directly to the line, working only through the chain switches. We're going to put in two light bulbs just to test. The light switch is on, we turn it off. Now we are going to test the fan. We pull the chain for first speed. We pull the chain for second speed. Pull the chain for third speed. And we pull the chain to turn it off. Wow! I like it. Well, friends, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content. Be well wherever you are, and may God bless you.